Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HD pregame show. I do have our good friend Husky here alongside for a couple more hours at least. Oh yeah. And this is going to the pregame show for the HDH Invitational. That is right, we have casted several of the HDH Invitational games. This one is going to be for Cathan Luck and Kawhi Rice. They are Terran versus Terran and it is the first map is going to be Lost Tempo for every single map. And I think this is going to be a good game. Please keep in mind that this entire tournament was sponsored by iRip, and so uh, make sure to check out their application if you haven't seen it. Yeah, just go uh, Google them. Just iRip is one word, and it is going to be a TVT. I cannot wait. Kathan Luck has been playing very well lately, while Kawhi Rice has also played well in a couple of recent tournaments, and he's been around for a while in StarCraft 1 and in StarCraft 2, and he's from Team Fnatic. Hello everyone, this is H to the Husky. Husky here, I am with HD StarCraft. We are going to be casting Kawaii Rice versus Kathan Luck. It is our second series that we're casting from the HDH Invitational. I can't wait to get this going. How are you doing, HD? Doing good, and we're ready to get this game underway. It is on Lost Temple, and it is going to be a Terran versus Terran. Kawaii Rice, you're a little bit familiar with him. He is from Team Fnatic, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is also posting on Team Liquid a lot. He has a YouTube channel and a live stream, so I am familiar with him. He's actually spawning as Socrates. He apparently changed his name, or I say as Socrates. I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Kathan Luck, of course, is going to be the green Terran on the right side. Right, Kathan Luck, I believe, is participating a lot in MLG right now. He's a really, really strong, solid Terran player. I haven't seen his TBT all that much because I haven't been keeping up to date with the other tournaments, but I think we're in store for a pretty good series of games here. Both players all the way across the map from each other, and it looks like Socrates is just starting to build up right now. Yep, and I don't know if we mentioned it, but Lost Temple is always the starting map for our series, but before this gets underway too much, I do want to give a big thanks to GLHF.TV. We're having major live streaming problems. Apparently once you get over a certain amount of viewers, if you stop the live stream, you kind of can't restart the live stream. And right. so they kind of jumped in and helped us out now. And so big thanks to them. And also, uh, you know, Nick Plot from Team Liquid. And so just wanted to give them a shout out, a huge thanks as we, we want to live stream this. I know a lot of people will watch it on YouTube, but they were able to help out with the live stream. And a big shout out to TeamLiquid.net, one of the most helpful communities out there for StarCraft 2. They've definitely helped us get this event underway. So it looks like right now we have Kathan Luck going for his gas right away. Most of the time in Terran versus Terran, players don't actually wall off, so we actually see the same build for uh, Socrates, also known as Kawhi Rice as well. Both players actually getting their racks down. And the important thing in Terran versus Terran that I've noticed is Banshees and Vikings are absolutely critical. Most players actually really just tech up all the way to starport and then that's all the units they use. One thing that I see a lot in TBT is that one player will get the Banshee and then kill a couple SCVs and then that forces the other player to actually get the Viking. And so seeing starport opening, openings are very common here. They are both getting it. They should be getting their orbital command around the same time. It does look like Kawaii Rice's was a little bit later, but a lot of it can be with the mineral patch location or just a little misclick can put you a tiny second behind. Right. But they should both have a marine spawning to prevent scouting from going down too much. Gathan Luck not going to get any lucky scouting up in there, but neither is Kawaii Rice. Right, so both players are going to be denied the scout, but I think it's safe to say that both players are playing standard right now. If you're in the shoes of, of Kawhi Rice or Kathan Luck right now, you know, there hasn't been a bunker rush or any kind of a mass SCV marine push or anything like that. So both players can assume that it's going to be standard, and we already have the tech lab going down for both Raxes. Usually we see, oh, we see a, a Reaper coming out right here. For, There's actually uh, just the one right now, and it looks like Kawhi Rice is getting the factory, and so this is where they're going to diversify a little bit. We could either see siege tanks or those early banshees like we were talking about. I wouldn't be so surprised if Kawhi Rice did get Banshees. I have seen him do it before, and they can be pretty effective, although the mineral location, it's actually kind of hard to get back here safely because it's hard to fly away, but we will see if he opts to do that. You can actually snipe mules very quickly or SCVs, and so we'll just have to see, though, how Kathan Luck reacts, although he's getting his factory just a little bit later, though. Just a little bit later, so he's going to have to try to do a little bit of economic damage to keep uh, Kawhi Rice on his toes inside his base. Uh, the Reaper is making its way across the base. I'm not sure who controls that middle Zelnaga watchtower. I do believe that it is. Yeah, it was Kawhi Rice, so that SCV, or I think it was a Marine, 
That is the Corpse of a Marine goes down, and here comes the Reaper. We'll see what kind of damage it can do. Yeah, the Reaper is going to be delayed here because it wasn't one of those 11 Raxes where you get that Reaper out super early, but I like how Cthon Luck is queuing it up right here, already has the next command to jump up right here, and this puts you right behind the Mineral Line, and even though Kawhi Rice knows about this, since he did lose that first Marine out there at that Watchtower, it looks like he is going to lose a couple of SCVs here. Right. So two SCVs already making this harassment worth it. The Marines may be going to clean this out. I do want to mention, though, that Reapers are very strong against every light unit that's pretty much tier 1. Oh, they do a bunch of bonus damage to light units. That's why they can kill ICBs in only three shots. And I'd imagine they kill Marines in about the same number of shots as well. They have about the same HP. Now we do see that the Starport factory switching off and a tech lab getting onto the Starport right away. That originally came from the factory. And so there is going to be a Banshee build coming from uh, from Kawhi Rice. And Kathan Luck, meanwhile, is actually getting his own Starport as well. As he doesn't have any air units coming yet. So he going to have a couple of Banshees in his base early on. Yeah, pretty much like I was saying, this is really common in Terran versus Terran, is where one gets the Banshee, so that's exactly what Kawhi Rice is doing, and so that's going to force uh, Kathan Luck to have to get his Viking, because really, if he gets a, which he is getting the Viking right now, but if he gets his own Banshee, it's going to be later than Kawhi Rice, so if they're just trying to, like, swap bases, then Kathan Luck's going to be behind the scan going down, Kawhi Rice is going to like what he sees, but he has to be very careful of that Viking because right. they're very fast and the range is extremely long. And one thing to keep in mind here is we do have two orbital commands going up for Kathan Luck. So he's going to have the energy. Look, he's even saving the energy at his main so that he's going to have time to scan. I'm not sure if he's saving it on purpose or if it's just for getting his meals, but hey, it's going to be good luck for him because this uh, Banshee is going to come in from the north and all that's going to happen that. Uh, needs to happen is the scan needs to go down and then the Viking can shoot it. Absolutely, it does look like quite Kawhi Rice is actually hesitating a little bit to send in this Banshee, but yeah, the scan I think is going to be ready. Uh, almost 100 energy here at this first Orbital Command. You mentioned the second expansion. Very good players will upgrade it to an Orbital Command before they fly it because you get a, just a little bit of an extra energy. So here comes the harassment right now at Cthon Luck's base. He is going to get the cloak, but the scan should be going down. And one thing to note is, look, Cthon Luck is actually flying his Viking past the Banshee before he does the scan, just letting him get a couple more shots in. He didn't kill it yet. He's 148 HP and he have a lot. But he pushed that back no problem. So Kawhi Rai is going to have to change his game plan. Yeah, Husky, I think that um, I think Kathan Luck right now using those Vikings, they have a lot of range. And here comes another scan. Three Vikings taking down that Banshee almost instantly. Now now uh, Kawhi Rai is in a bit of a hole because he's he basically, the Banshee didn't really do that much damage. He didn't kill that many SCVs. And now there's a lot of Vikings that he's got to deal with. He's going to try to go in here with another Banshee to try to harass some SCVs, but with two orbital commands and about three or four Vikings with more on the way. I'm not sure how much damage he's going to be able to do. Is the scan going to go down? Does he have energy? I believe he does.